What up, boys? It's Gaz, and welcome to the Warframe video. I'm pretty low on energy today, to be honest. And that's good because we actually have a low effort and just kind of chill Steel Essence farm for you today. It's going to involve, you know, not really trying too hard and just kind of like killing some Grenadiers. Uh, it's going to be involving just, you know, doing survival and to be with your boy Ash Prime. The ex actually, the exact same build. We had uh, in the video from a couple of days ago with the uh, level 10,000 Ash gameplay. Yeah, just the, honestly the same stuff, uh, but we're going to go over some other methods you can farm Steel Essence. Also, there is a uh, semi-AFK Quora method, but it will not be going over in this video. But we might talk about it on uh, the next Twitch stream, potentially, which will most likely be on uh, tomorrow. Which, this should be coming out on Sunday, and the Twitch stream will be on Monday. So yeah, we can talk about the, uh, the Quora stuff tomorrow. Okay. So, let's get into it. So, let's go over this stuff. If you like these videos, definitely hit that like button. It does help the video get recommended to more people so that more people can check out the channel eventually. Um, all right. So, yeah. Oh, by the way, the, the Twitch link is twitch.tv slash gas underscore TTV. And, you know, you can also... Oh, yeah, if you want to join the Discord server, I will post Discord invite links in Twitch chat if you go there. Um, so, even if you don't have an account on Twitch, you can read Twitch chat... And I'll post the Discord link as soon as someone asks for it. And they can join the server. All right, all right. Enough of that, enough of that. So what we're doing today is we're going to be farming survival. The Acolytes are the only way to get Steel Essence nowadays, besides the other method we'll be talking about, which is another chill method. Um, so yeah, Acolytes spawn every like four to five minutes on this node. And they don't spawn on every node. It, it just it seems like a bug, honestly. Uh, like I said, the, the Kuva Essence video from like weeks ago on uh, Tevone, the Steel... Path Kuva Survival Node. I don't really know if it's supposed to be bugged out like that or if that's like an accident where the Acolyte stops spawning after 20 minutes. But I'll tell you for a fact right now on this node, which is... Oh, what's it called again? It's the Sedna Survival. It's called Selkie. Uh, this one, they spawn forever. So this one right here, we're on the planet Sedna, and the Survival Node is called uh, Selkie. And the reason we're doing the Grenier is because the Grenier are the easiest clans, or the <laughs> clans, the easiest uh, faction to kill. They don't have annoying stuff in the background. They usually have the Nox enemy and, like, the Manix, but you will not be dealing with any Manix or Nox on this node. That is why, one of the reasons why it's very nice, and that's one of the reasons why Ophelia was nice back in the day, is because the Nox enemy did not spawn there. Not like the Nox is too impossible to kill or anything like that. We are using Ash Prime, after all. Um, but, yeah, so you want to go to Selkie on Sedna. And you can use the exact same build uh, from our video the other day. And you know what's funny, though? You don't even need to have a good weapon for the Acolyte specifically. One use of Ash's Bladestorm will kill the Acolyte with 145% strength. Yes. It is that easy to kill these Acolytes. Now, keep in mind, when the Limbo Acolyte spawns, he's immune to abilities. So, you're going to need to actually use weapons on him. That's why you're going to bring a good Slash Melee along, one of Ash's best friends. Um, yeah, every other Acolyte, though, will die in one Blade Storm cast with 145% uh, strength. So, yeah, pretty nice stuff there. Um, and with the Limbo guy, like I said, you're going to just need to... I'm using the dual Ethers. Um, but here is the build on Ash Prime, just if you want to see that. So, I mean, I know you can just put an Umbral, uh, Umbral Intensify to get the enough power strength, but it's fine. I, I didn't even have to change anything. And, of course, you could form with this differently. We did not need Seeking Shuriken for what we're doing at all. But if you already have a um, a uh, an, ex, an aug Augment uh, Polarity on here, you could maybe try Rising Storm. Smoke Shadow is not going to really help you because this is a solo farm. You could honestly just maybe not even run a mod in that slot or just put on another Augur mod for maybe some more, um, you know, maybe some more strength. If you, want, if you don't think you're going to one-shot the Acolyte for some reason. 169%. Nice. Maybe some more range. Since we had uh, Ensnare Subsume, it will grab some more enemies up. We're using the Probiscus Cernos in the gameplay footage. So, um, you know, we didn't really need to use uh, Ensnare. But Ensnare is good for the Acolyte, as the Acolyte will not be stunned by the Probiscus Cernos. So, using uh, Ensnare on the Acolyte is going to make it so... Not only is it dying to your Bladestorm from one hit, it's also stunned and can't fight back at all. So, very good stuff there. Um, and like I said, the dual ether was the melee I used here because it's, it's just going to want you everything. And since Ash's passive increases the damage of slash procs, it just makes sense. Some, uh, 
some other really good um, melees you could use for this. I'd say the Venka Prime, the Pangolin Prime, the Graham Prime, Cronin Prime. Basically, anything that's very slash-focused and has good hybrid stats, that means like good crit chance and good stash chance at the same time, is going to be your best friend here. Uh, you can even use an Ami Skyla Prime. Like, there's, the, the list goes on and on, guys. You can even use like the Dakra Prime, honestly. So, lots of stuff. If you just got the Broken War from the story quest, that's also going to work. Put Weeping Wounds and Blood Rush on there. We'll show the melee build real quick. Now, to keep in mind, I do have a Riven on here. But another important mod for this setup is actually using uh, Prime Smite Grenier. I forgot to use this my level 10,000 uh, Ash gameplay. But this is going to make it so the Slash procs do even more damage. And the rest of the stuff is Condition Overload, uh, Organ Shatter, and we've got the Riven mod. Like I said, if you, got, if you don't got a Riven, it's fine. You, you'll, just, you'll have to figure out what else you want to put there instead. I'd suggest Glider Might. All right, so that is the uh, the situation there, the Ash build and the melee build. Of course, you want to use the Smita Kavat because the Smita Kavat will give you potentially double essence from these guys. If you see over there, eight steel essence from the dude uh, dying and dropping. With a booster, it's usually four. With the Smita Cat, it's going to be eight uh, when it's proc, and it doesn't always proc, obviously. Um, if you are doing this properly, not counting any Smita, uh, Smita Cat buffs, you will be getting around 30,000 Kuva in one hour. That's pretty good. And like I said, if they ever maybe hopefully bug fix uh, Tevone Steel Path with the Acolyte stop spawning, that will be better than this, definitely. That will be probably about... Is it going to be 50,000? It might be like around 40 or 40,000, 60,000, 50,000. Around that range if they fix Tevone. Oh, by the way, guys, I think everyone should go bug report Tevone Acolyte stop spawning. Because uh, a lot of times they just don't spawn, period. It's very frustrating. And I've actually heard some people say, like, oh, it's intentional. Like, they that better not be intentional. That better not be intentional. They're not spawning after 20 minutes or sometimes period on Tavone. I believe the bug on Tavone is, like, some of the uh, the Lotus transmissions are blocking out the Acolyte spawns. But, you know, I haven't actually investigated that thoroughly. All right, so this is the Kelpie uh, method. There's also, of course, you can just do your Steel Essence alerts every day. Um, but as you can see, like, some of them are kind of crappy. Like, I don't want to do a mobile defense. Now, to be fair, uh, this three steel essence is not affected by a booster, but since it's a mobile defense mission, you'll be waiting about six minutes between all the uh, defending and stuff. That's enough time for an acolyte to spawn. The, es the essence the acolyte will spawn if you kill it will be affected by a booster, so that's about seven steel essence from six minutes there. Um, disruption, I, I don't know if I'd, I'd do that one. You, you could, of course. Like Mobile defense technically could be nice since it takes about six minutes and the acolyte will most likely spawn there, but be careful that he doesn't kill the the, uh, the defense objective for you. Something I also realized: my, the, the steel the the steel path stalker spawns. Why does he not drop steel essence? I feel like the steel path stalker should drop ten steel essence. Um, that would not only make farming bosses more worth it on the steel path, but it would make it like him actually have a purpose. Because like I'm like, oh, they're not gonna make shadow versions of the dread. There's no like dread umbra he's gonna drop. Give me some steel essence at least for me fighting that bullet sponge. Um, on, on the steel path because he does have he has no reason to exist. His little minions drop steel essence, yet he doesn't. So that makes no sense. I'm sure that the acolytes don't really make a lot of sense here, lore wise, anyway. So you just throw us a freaking bone, de. That's a, that's what I'm saying here. Comes another acolyte getting one shot by blade storm. I'm gonna give yeah. I didn't even give him a little tap from the melee. See, like it is just it is double tap four. He's done. So really good stuff there. Like I said, the Korra method might be having a video eventually. Although, I just find this more chill, just, you know, like, killing some Grenier, hanging out, um, maybe listening to a podcast in the background, maybe watching some more of my videos in the background, uh, if you're super cool and you need to see some more strats. Either way, guys, hope you found this helpful. I'll talk to you next time. Um, and yeah, farming Kuva sucks now. Thanks, uh, thanks for nerfing the Xmas drop stuff. I really appreciate that. Peace.